Okay, this can be kind of tricky to look at. I mean, let's let's try different values and kind of see what it's telling us. Two, let's do that. Two, one half, negative one half, negative two for x. It's two. I mean, that doesn't work. One half. That works. Negative one half. So one half plus doesn't work. Negative two doesn't work. So it looks like basically what these results are telling me, you know, two is a proxy for anything greater than one. One is a proxy for anything between zero and one. Negative one half for between zero and negative one. Negative two for anything less than negative one. So what this is telling me is that for this to be true, x needs to be between one and zero. If I look at the really quick one and zero actually do work. So number one tells me x is greater than or equal to zero. Well, that's one part of it. But I don't know that it's limited at one, so that's not sufficient on its own. Number two tells me it's less than or less than or equal to one, but I don't know whether it comes to be one of these negative numbers, so that's not sufficient on its own. But if I put them together, that means x is between zero and one. That's what I wanted to see.